Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things hair care, but slightly different today. A lot of my subscribers will know I've got a passion for that optimum scalp environment if you've got fine hair, thinning hair, and really boosting what you have and helping grow and achieve thicker, more denser, fuller hair with just that overall greater scaffolding, which often fine hair and thinning hair can lack when it comes to styling your hair. Now, for me, I've got fine hair, but I've got a lot of it. For me, in the last couple of years, what I've really noticed about my hair as I've grown it out, as you can see now, sort of wave it to my shoulders. So when I pass a straightener through it, it is a little bit longer again. However, when I wash and condition, uh, when I uh, shampoo and condition my hair, what happens, and it never ever used to happen when I was in my teenage years and in my early 20s, it really did just seem to change in my later 20s, that actually my hair started to take on almost like a, a frizziness and a dry texture. Now that's not all the time, but I do find that for example, if I'm styling my hair quite a bit, or a lot of my subscribers will know that I use a hair tie and I have my hair back in sort of like a uh, men's top knot style. I really love those 1910s, 1920s inspired looks. So that very slick back look. Now, a lot of people think that actually I use a lot of hair gel, a lot of spray to achieve that look, but actually I don't. Very often what I use is like a leave-in conditioning spray or a leave-in oil. I don't usually put it on the roots of my hair, uh, but I use it in the lengths and ends and then comb it back with sort of like a paddle brush or a comb or one thing or another, and then I tie it back and then over the top, I just use a very fine mist of free spray just to hold everything into place. Occasionally I use a pin just so I keep everything up out of the way, and then that's me done pretty much for the day. However, having worn those styles, sometimes for all day from five o'clock in the morning, right the way up to last thing at night, when I come to wash my hair and it just dries naturally, I find that my hair can take on a little bit of a coarseness. And because it's a finer texture, it can become quite fragile. So it wasn't until, uh, I suppose a couple of months ago, and I've only just realized that, uh, that I haven't reviewed this product. Now the product we're talking about here is the Deluxe, it's by Weller and it's the Deluxe Ultimate Styling Protection Rich Oil for Dry Hair. This one here. Now I didn't actually find this, in fact I don't actually buy this. It's in our family home, it's in the family bathroom and my mum buys this. So I'm very very close to my parents and if we have something in the family bathroom we usually find out that sort of everybody sort of drops into it, tries it, and then sort of sometimes it can it can be adopted elsewhere and that's usually where I've found a lot of the things which I actually tend to use uh, in terms of nourishment looking after my hair. It's usually my mum's bought it um, and actually or, or sort of when the weekly shop happens or one thing or another and um, then I've tried it out and then I've st sort of started using it. So that's the story behind this one. So mum started buying this uh, ages ago. She's been using it for a very long time. She's got fine hair, she's got a lot of it. Uh, she's recently just had it from nearly to her waist and she's had quite a lot cut off. But she swears by this. Mum's hair has always got a very mirror-like shine and very sleek and just really, really glamorous. Sort of, I always think, quite expensive looking hair. So she uses this. So I've started using this on and off for a good couple of weeks. Um, I never really mentioned it on the channel. And that's just for days where, to be quite honest with you, I'm working from home. I work in finance. So perhaps it's a busy financial uh, month end. And I haven't quite got time to spend as much time first thing in the morning on my hair. So what I did start to do is just very simply just taking a pump of the oil and just taking it through the lengths and ends of my hair. And straight away, I noticed that it was almost like that my hair was really, really thirsty. And it would take the oil straight up and it would become softer. It would become more nourished. Now, my hair, you, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but this is the God's honest truth. This is natural in my hair. Okay. Now, the only thing which I have done today is shampooed and conditioned my hair this morning. Okay, and then what I've done is I've sort of used a towel, I've pulled my fingers through it, I've used a towel just to sort of gently blot the moisture out of my hair, and then what I've done is I've flipped my head forward, okay, I've actually used about three pumps of this, not in my roots, okay, I always use like a root uh, sort of spray for uh, hair growth, scalp environment, one thing and another. At the moment, the ones I'm loving is the Avida, uh, 
Invate. I love that spray. So I used that this morning. Um, and then I took a couple of pumps of this into my hands, first of all, and then literally just scrunching it in my hair. So not pulling it through so everything starts to go frizzy, but just literally scrunching it through my hair and pushing upwards when my hair is over. So and then, and then ultimately what happens is this sort of happens. So I flip my head forward, okay, and then what I'm doing is I'm, uh, the oil is throughout my hands, and then I'm scrunching the oil in. Now you may think, well, why not just glide through your hair? Sometimes I do do that, but however, I do find that if I scrunch it in, if I want more of an undone sort of surface sort of inspired look like this, okay, and this is soft, okay, um, then I do this, flip my head forward, just for a bit of sort of uh, thickness in the roots, a bit more volume in the roots. And then, I mean, you can see through this a bit more. You can see I've got fine textured hair, but I've got a lot of it. I've got an undercut going on. Okay, so this is sort of about here. And you can see that, okay, it looks a lot. I, I kid you not, it, it's not, but I, I've got fine hair. I've got rather a lot of it. Sometimes I do this down, you can see through it. Not a problem, I'm at home, I'm busy, I'm getting all things. What I always tend to do is scrunch it in and then separate it a little bit so it just looks like there is more. But do you know what? This has not got any sort of holding spray or anything in it today. And you can see that if I keep doing it, it gets bigger. Okay, so for some reason, I do find that this oil gives volume as well. And you can see that actually it's really nice. It gives a real nice definition. And this is not me using anything in my hair. This is just me simply using this oil, okay? And then just scrunching it through. So we're gonna start talking about the product now because I've shown you kind of what I've done and I've finished work. This style was done probably around about half five this morning. And we are just coming up to about half past three in the afternoon. You will see that yes, there is hairs here, where my hair was washed this morning, um, and I put that so that uh, uh, Vida Invate spray in, um, I probably sprayed a bit much because it's showing on my roots a little bit, but you know, it's not a problem because I've used the, the rich oil through the lengths and ends, and it's great. And I don't know about you, but I really like, I really like the look, and yeah, it's really, really cool. So let's talk about the product. So straight away, this is the Weller Deluxe Rich Oil Dry Hair. Now you may think anything rich with oil, surely stay away from fine hair. Do you know what? Yes and no. Because if you've got fine hair, thinning hair, then nine times out of 10, however you're styling your hair, is still probably gonna make your hair a little bit dry. Sometimes throughout the year, you're gonna need more nourishment than others, particularly, for example, in the winter. But then again, on a summer holiday, you may need, if you've been out in the sun, or whatever you've been doing, perhaps chlorine from sort of a swimming pool or whatever you've been doing, um, you may need that bit more extra nourishment. So by all means, do not stray away, and people will probably disagree with me on this, but do not stray away from using an oil product. Okay, but here's the catch, lengths and ends. And I would say from about sort of eyebrow level, okay, where you are, you don't need to be putting it up here. Straight away, people I find make that mistake. If you've got fine hair or thinning hair, they rub it through their hands and literally just plonk it on the top of their scalp. You don't need to be doing that, okay? Because that is, if you remember, that is new growth coming through. So nine times out of 10, that's probably gonna be more nourished, more healthier than what this is. If you remember that rule, anything to your ear is a year is a year old, okay? Anything to your shoulder is two. So I always use the analogy, if you had a t-shirt on and you wore it 365 days, okay? Of, of course the year, and then if you times up by two, that shirt would start to look a little bit raggy, wouldn't it? And a bit worn out. So just imagine that with your hair. So anything down here is probably gonna need a lot more nourishment. Of course, there will be other reasons why you need a little bit more nourishment in your hair, whether you are having uh, sort of highlights or bleaching processes, chemical treatments on your hair, if uh, perming, straightening, coloring, all of those type of things, if you love using your heated appliances and one thing or another, then this is gonna be really, really great for you. Now, of course, you can use however much you wish. Now, I always say start with less, then work up for more. This sits in our family bathroom, okay? Um, I can see my mum can, I have, can just use a couple of pumps in her hands, puts it all through her hair, and then usually um, she'll go back and she'll put more in, and then sometimes I'll see her put more in, but she will let her hair kind of decide. So first of all, she will put a little bit in, first of all, then if she needs a bit more, she'll go back and she'll go back again. Yes, hands up, I have done about the four or five pumps, put it through and thought, oh, I've made a mistake. But do you know what, try it a little bit first of all, and then just let you be guided by your own hair, because you will know, because straight away, if it feels, oh, it's a little bit more softer, a little bit more nourished, but 
I could do a bit more and go back in with it a little bit more because this is a really great product. So if you've got fine hair, thinning hair, stay away from the roots. Okay, so top of your head, don't worry about that at all. Lengths and ends, absolutely fantastic. Start with one pump, I would say first of all, half. Rub it through your hands. It is not greasy, even though it is a rich oil, okay? It is not greasy. It does not leave a residue. It just ultimately gets absorbed into the hair, nourishing that hair, that softness, that suppleness, and reverses sort of aging and that crispiness, which sometimes dry hair can have. Um, both men and women, I know a lot of men probably wouldn't think, oh, I'll reach out for a hair oil, but you know, if you're growing your hair and perhaps you're not you're not particularly used to styling long hair, honestly, it is an absolute game changer. Since I started using this oil, I don't get that puffiness. I don't get that frizziness. If I want to wear my hair down like this without spending ages with a blow dryer, with a straightener, then this allows me to do that. It uniforms hair. It uniforms the natural character of your hair. And it really does just make things ultimately much more healthier, much more nourished, much more softer, and just really overall that cool looking undone look, but yet you know that you've not used a ton of products to achieve it. In terms of if you have got fine thinning hair, please use with caution, of course, it's not going to suit everybody. Having said that, there is a light version. Now, I've tried the light version, okay, and we were, we are going to be reviewing that soon, but I actually didn't really like it, to be honest with you. I didn't feel it gave me as much nourishment as this. Um, so I say that it's in the family bathroom. I can't actually think offhand where actually it is now because I used it once and I really didn't like it. Um, I didn't actually purchase it. My mum did. I think actually she said it was more, uh, it was a mistake that she meant to have picked this one up. Um, and that's in like a slightly reddish pinky bottle. But to be honest, when I tried it, this is much better. So if you have got fine or thinning hair or sort of frizzy hair, or even if that's none of your concerns and you've got thick hair, sort of quite coiled hair, quite really, um, the actual... Uh, the thickness of the actual strands of your hair are really thick, then this is going to be great for you and you've got no worries at all. But for people like myself with fine textured hair and much thinner hair and sort of further beyond that, this is still going to be great for you. It really, really is. Um, let's have a look at the uh, information on here a little bit more on here. So Weller product. Weller is very up there with high-end products. It's a great brand. It's a reputable brand. Um, there are lots of great products out there from Weller. This is part of the deluxe range, which I notice hit the store's core quite a few months ago now, probably even maybe over a year ago or so now, but I know it's growing, particularly in where I love, buy a lot of my products from Boots here in the UK on the high streets. So this is the Rich Oil Dry Hair, for dry hair. Okay, it's a Keratin Protect 10. So the 10 means 10 benefits, which we're gonna go through in just a moment. Okay, so it says here, up to three days of intense smoothing and shine with nourished feel weightless and non-greasy so absolutely it's weightless it doesn't as you can see here it gives me volume i don't know how but it gives me volume in my hair um it's not greasy at all so again i'm touching my uh touching my hair it's not greasy i'm touching everything else there's no problems with anything like that at all um it says up to three days intense feeling and shine so i wash my hair every day so i can't comment on that However, my mum, who purchased this product and it's predominantly hers, um, I know for a fact that she can go several days. She's got long, uh, very, very uh, long hair. She's just had quite a lot cut off. I know it's colour treated as well. Um, and she has no problem. And it always looks, as I always say, expensive looking hair, that real glamorous look. So for ladies watching this, it is a great product for colour hair, uh, coloured hair, sorry, fine hair, um, any of those sort of styles. Great. I know one of my mum's favourites is actually if it's sunny out or it's warm out, she usually leaves her hair damp, puts loads through it and then puts it up and then sits out in the sun. And I know that she gets great nourishment from that as well. Um, for me, let's have a look on the benefits on here and I will tell you if I agree or not. So on the back here, there's not too much information. And I do just want to touch into the ingredients in just a second. So infused with a blend of nourishing oils. Now those nourishing oils are camellia seed oil, avocado and coconut oil. So I have to admit, avocados are my absolute favourite fruit. Absolutely love them. Avocado oil, really, really great for the hair and scalp. But bear in mind, this is not necessarily for the scalp. So just approach that with caution. Um, but I really love avocado. Uh, so avocado oil, great in here. Coconut oil, we know for repairing, nourishing the hair as well and reversing signs of damage to the hair too. And camellia seed oil, you'll often find that in hair, which is dry, uh, products for dry hair, dull hair as well. Um, so really, really great. And it does give a shine. It does give that nourishment and it ultimately is a really, really great product. So the benefits. Okay, so Weller Rich Oil offers 10 benefits to your hair. Anti-breakage, 
absolutely because it just makes the hair feel really really amazing lengths and ends uh nourishment completely smoothness it certainly does that but it doesn't make the hair so smooth that actually it looks as though that you've got no hair at all okay it says uv protection so that's great if you're out in the sun there i told you what my mum sometimes likes to do so you've got that uh uv protection as well from the sun a soft touch completely agree it says easier brushing and detangling well you can see straight away there is nothing in my hair okay it's a little bit dry a little bit frizzier where i've been working today and i've not bothered and um doing too much of it but as you can see these shapes this is the natural texture of my hair there's nothing in this okay there's nothing in this at all and this is sort of like how my hair is sitting if i was to pass uh, a closer comb through it you would see that it would start to go probably quite puffy and probably not a great look. Like I'm not liking what this is doing here, to be quite honest with you. So, and it's going more, I notice it's going more triangular as we're talking. So you may want to use something through it because if I was going out, I would want to just put something through it to calm it down a little bit. Because as I'm talking and as we're touching it, it seems to be getting bigger. So I don't know where the volume comes from, I have to admit, but it is a great product for that. And bear in mind, as you can see, I've got fine textured hair, quite a lot of it, but fine textured hair. Okay, so let's move on. So ease of brushing, detangling, frizz control. So yes, I would absolutely agree with that. Even though you can see these small little hairs here, bearing in mind, I've only used this from about here downwards. So this is kind of either new growth or kind of the hair growth cycle, uh, new hair coming through. So you've got shine, absolutely. And then lastly, manageability. So yes, it does give an absolute optimum manageability throughout your hair. Um, so many ways you can use this. It is an amazing product. I absolutely love it. And then just lastly here, it says formulated without animal derived ingredients. Fantastic. Application, rub one to three pumps between palms and work through the lengths and tips of your damp or dry hair. And that's what I do. So I have never used it on my roots. I think maybe I have once and really completely regretted it because for some reason I always find no matter how light or how heavy a product is, if you put it on the roots, it just seems to just stay there. It doesn't seem to do anything, but lengths and ends of the hair, um, it really does take the nourishment in and it, it is just great. Um, in terms of ingredients, the only sort of slight negative I would say, but is not too much of a problem because uh, you're not putting it on your roots, you're not putting it on your scalp environment. So yes, I would prefer it if it's not in there. It is the ingredient of Demethlocol. Now, I believe that that is a formaldehyde sort of, um, oh, I can't remember now off the top of my head, um, product. So a, a byproduct from that. Excuse me if I've got that wrong. I have got it, but it's just gone completely out of my head. Um, a formaldehyde releasing product, I understand, from my different previous research on different products. So I don't like dimethyl coal in products at all. And if I do find that they're in there, I tend to stay away from them. If they're in sort of smoothing products like this, because I know that that is very much of an artificial element, um, then I just use the lengths and ends. If the product has such a great uh, sort of experience with me, or I really, really like it, then I will continue to use it, but I will never put it on my roots and my scalp environments. Um, and to be honest, my mum never does either. And I think I've got a brother who uses this too. And it's literally just a calm down frizz. Uh, so just approach that with caution. Probably another reason why I wouldn't use it on your scalp environment. And anyway, remembering that is new hair growth. So you're not going to need that nourishment through there anyway. Uh, so going through some of the ingredients, we've got obviously fragrance in here. It smells absolutely amazing too. Uh, we've got coconut oil, avocado oil, camellia seed oil in here as well, and a few other science-y ingredients. But do you know what? I absolutely love this. It's 100 ml. It's around about eight pounds. Um, I don't think that really varies. Sometimes it's on offer. Sometimes I know um, I've purchased this from my mum online, uh, but it is a really great product. And as you can see here, it's actually almost it seems to be sort of getting quite volumized, but it's it's great and I really do like it. And even though it makes my hair look a little bit dreadlocky here, actually, because I haven't done too much of it on this side, if I sort of uniform it and sort of put it into place of how I want to wear it today, this afternoon, um, then yeah, really, really pleased, but cannot rave or shout about this product enough. It is absolutely fantastic. The light version, I say we're going to cover that on the channel. That will be coming. I'm not 100% sure when. As I say, I didn't like it. If it turns out that it's my mum's used it all and I've got to buy it again, I probably wait a little bit before I buy it again. Um, I can't find it off the top of my head because I wanted to do a bit of a comparison with them both. But this, amazing, absolutely love it. Uh, so, what one would I recommend? This one, of course. So, on that note, thank you very much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this clip. And until next time, I will look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.